Hello, today we're going to show you how to tube the flow cell for the AutoTurb 3. This is for the new style flow cell. You will need gloves, you'll need a flow cell, you'll need some AU0013 Selastic tubing cut somewhere between three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half long, which you will soak in a small a container of chloroform for at least five minutes so that it can expand. You will need probe tubing, AU0011. You'll need two pieces of probe tubing, one for the probe itself, which is 46 inches long, one for the waist side, which is 26 inches long. Now, these pieces are not cut to scale. And you'll need tweezers. Take the flow cell out of, the con out of its container. The flow cell has two large glass stems that we're going to attach the tubing to with the elastic. We want to test fit the pro tubing, see that it fits inside and can go all the way down until it stops in the glass stem. Once we do that, we want to identify the stem tube that connects to the bottom of the flow cell. That's going to be the one that the probe tube attaches to, the long one. Once we've identified that, we can extract a piece of our elastic tubing that's been soaking. And this is the thinner wall elastic tubing that we use instead of the heavier wall. That slides over the probe tube. Then we insert the probe tube into the stem of the flow cell. Then we bring the elastic down and roll it over the glass stem and hold it in place while it dries. Now chances are good that when you do this the elastic will roll over on itself and it will double up when it rolls over this stem. That's acceptable. If it does it, that's fine. If it doesn't do it, that's still fine. We hold it in place while it evaporates the chloroform so that it doesn't creep off the stem. Then you have to do it all over again. It takes about 30 seconds or to a minute for that to get to the point where it will not move off of the stem. Once it's dry, we will do the same thing for the other tube. Notice that on these cells, they have a large aperture on both sides. So we no longer have to place it in the cell holder properly. It can go in either way. We just want to make sure that the tube to the right is the one attached to the probe, and that is the tube that feeds the bottom of the cell. If it's tubed the other way around, bubbles will get stuck in here and they will not clear out, so you'll have to replace the tubing. And that concludes this demonstration of retubing the flow cell. Thank you.